My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the Liturgy of the Word with Father Evaristus Egemeyo Abu. Today is Tuesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Year 2. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the better portion which shall not be taken away from her. Luke chapter 10 verses 41 to 42. Did Martha do anything wrong by serving Jesus and his guests? What does Jesus mean by the good portion, which shall not be taken away from Mary? Stay tuned as we break down God's word today. And if you find this video impactful, please do share it with others. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty ever-living God, as we feed on your word today, we beg you to grant us the grace to understand what we read, to believe what we understand, and to practice what we preach. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 1, verses 13 to 24. Responsorial Psalm is taken from Psalm 139, and our gospel passage comes from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, you have heard of my former life in Judaism. How I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and had called me through his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia and again I returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remained with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still not known by sight to the churches of Christ in Judea. They only heard it said, He who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways true and true. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. For it was you who formed my inmost being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you who wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works, which my soul knows well. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth. Lead me, Lord, in the way everlasting. Hallelujah, 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 ah, hallelujah. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Ah, hallelujah, 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 ah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
At that time, Jesus entered the village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha. You are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. Child of God, worry no more. In today's Gospel passage, Luke reports Jesus' famous visit to the house of his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. This story tells us that Jesus had friends. Before we proceed, let us pause for a while and ask ourselves, is Jesus my friend? If Jesus is truly your friend, the next question is, how often do I open my doors to receive him? A lawyer asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? To this question, Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan, illustrating that our neighbors are not always those in close proximity to us. Too many times we meet Jesus on the way and we pass him by. Again and again, Jesus has come to knock on our doors, but we slammed the door against him. The next question we must now ask is, what was the purpose of Jesus' visit? Jesus knew that he had only three years to complete his mission of saving the world. He wouldn't waste any minute of this ridiculously short time. Martha assumed that Jesus came to eat, and so she was distracted with serving in the kitchen. For Jesus, Mary chose the good portion because she understood that Jesus came to serve rather than to be served. Matthew 20, 28. Mary knew that Jesus came to offer himself as food to the world. And so, rather than bother herself about feeding Jesus, she sat at his feet to feed on the gracious words which proceeded from Jesus' mouth. Recall that during his temptation, Jesus declared, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word which comes out of the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, Luke chapter 4 verse 4. When when was the last time you sat down like Mary to feed on the word of God? Do you consider it a waste of time to read the Bible? Martha must have looked at Jesus talking with Mary several times, hoping Jesus would tell her, go and help your sister when she could no longer take it. Martha spoke up, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. Luke 10, 40. How often do we pass premature judgment on others without understanding the full story? By the way, what stopped Martha from whispering to Mary to excuse her politely if she needed her help in the kitchen? Martha announced it because she wanted Jesus to see her as hardworking and Mary as lazy. Do you recall the story of the two men who went to the temple to pray? The Pharisee stood and prayed with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this task collector here. I fast twice a week. I give of all that I, I get. I, 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 am, I am so good. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Luke chapter 18 Verse 11 to 14. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but only one thing is needed. Even today, we worry about so many things, such as 
children's school fees, prices of basic commodities, insecurity in our country, and so on. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 to 33. That one thing needed is to seek first God's kingdom. While you search for your daily bread, live righteously. Pursue integrity. Pursue purity of heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. Make sure you avoid sin and entrust your difficulties to God. Don't stay up all night worrying. Do that which is within your power and leave the rest to God. God can change your story within the twinkle of an eye. He can turn things around for you like he did for Job. Do not allow your present difficulties push you to the point of cursing God. Martha thought she was doing the right thing by worrying about food and not paying attention to Jesus. Sometimes we ministers of God assume we are doing the right thing when we busy ourselves with so many church projects but ignore our daily personal prayer. You cannot be busier than the one who gave you the job. The best gift you can give yourself is to spend time before Jesus in the blessed sacrament every day. Trust in God's providence. He knows how to make a way where there seems to be no way. Are you worrying about your enemies? <laughs> Consider today's first reading. Paul confesses that he was determined to wipe out Christianity even at its infant stage. But God, who knew him before he was born, arrested him. From being Christianity's fiercest persecutor, Paul became its greatest promoter. Child of God, fear not. Those threatening fire and brimstone today will soon kneel before you to seek your blessing. The battle belongs to God. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen.